Hi, this is Leah from What's New in Secondary Education, and I'm here to talk to you about getting started in Google Classroom. It's really, really simple. If your school has uh, the Google Ed app, it's completely free, and most school systems have it. All you need to do is log into Google and go to your homepage and click on the little multicolored waffle in the upper left hand corner. Or you can just search Google Classrooms in Google Apps. When you find it, you're going to want to click on the Google Classroom. From there, you're going to get started by designating yourself as a teacher. It's really important that you do that. You don't want to accidentally select student because then it's going to be a pain. You're going to have to go back and change it. You're probably going to have to get your system administrator to do that. So be sure that you select teacher to begin with. Then you're going to want to go to the upper right hand corner and you're going to want to select the little plus sign. A drop box is going to appear and you're going to want to select create class. At this point, if you're like me, you're going to have to contact your system administrator to have her add you as a teacher. This only takes a minute, and then you're going to have to log out and log back in, and then you're going to want to choose a name and a session for your class. From there, you can take a tour, or you can simply click on students, and you can add students. You can add students in a couple of different ways. First, you can invite specific students in your domain, but I think the simplest option is to get the class code and just give it to your students so that they can sign up on their own. And if your students are like mine, you might want to bring the Chromebook cart if you have one into your classroom and guide them through that. It's easy to set up your class. Just go to the About, click it, and add all of your class info right there. I select a different theme for each one of my classes because I teach multiple classes. That way it's much easier for me to tell them apart. Then for each class I select a title, add links and attachments, put handouts like a class syllabus and procedures right there so that the students have them right at their fingertips. Then you can go to stream. Click on stream and in the bottom right hand corner you're going to see a little plus icon. Click on it. From there, you can respond to uh, questions that students have. You can post questions for students. You can generate announcements. You can add assignments. A few quick things that are great that you can do with Google Classroom. You can add YouTube links and start a class discussion. You can add due dates to assignments. They will automatically go up on your class calendar. That's a fantastic feature. Then you can check to see who has and who hasn't submitted assignments. You can send your class reminders. You can grade and comment on student work right there without ever having to print anything out, and the comments and the grades go directly to your students. I've also included on this cheat sheet a few helpful resources that you can click on and go to to help you get started in Google Classroom. Thank you so much for taking the time to learn a little bit about Google Classroom with me today. Uh, go ahead and print out this PDF and use it to get started, and good luck.